Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. We're looking at why TI Inspire CX. Today we're going to look at slope fields and differential equation graphing. TI Inspire CX, the handheld and the software are now in color. Why TI Inspire CX touchpad? It is a learning tool and a teaching tool. It is no longer just a graphing calculator and it's in color. We have been asking for slope fields and differential equation graphing on TI Inspire, and now we have it. And it's interactive and in color. Watch. Let's look at a gro uh, to graph a slope field for y prime equals 1 half x. We're going to illustrate this with the TI SmartView emulator. However, this is exactly how it will look on the TI Inspire CX handheld. To graph y prime equals 1 half x, I'll go to menu, choose a graph type of differential equation. Uh, we'll type in the fraction 1 half x, so that's y prime equals 1 half x, and press enter. And you can see this is the slope field for that. But if we had an initial condition and wanted to see a specific graph for this, I'll go back to, to um, control G to bring up the um, equation, go to Y1, and I can type in the ordered pair, 0, let's say, comma 1, enter. And so there's the uh, graph of the solution to that differential equation going through 0, 1. But I'd like to check to see if, if that is correct with the algebraic solution. So let's go ahead and investigate that. So algebraically and using calculus, if y prime is equal to 1 half x, uh, we can take the integral of both sides, uh, take the antiderivative, and we get y is equal to 1 fourth x squared plus a constant. If we get our initial condition that x equals 0 and y equals 1 that I typed in, uh, substituting, we get that the constant is 1. So therefore, y is equal to 1 fourth x squared plus 1. Let's go back to the graph and see if that is the same as we got graphically using the differential equation grapher. Right here, I'm going to um, go back and I want to change the type of graph now to function. And I'll graph in y equals 1 fourth. x squared plus the 1. And when I graph this, you can see in pink that it traces out the same graph I had before, um, just in a different color. So I feel pretty comfortable with that. Next, we're going to look at a, an application problem. Let's say the population of, of wolves is described by this differential equation. We're going to uh, graph that in, in y1 prime, and I did that. And I also put in an initial condition uh, to show you how to do the initial conditions here. Uh, when I go to y1 prime, there it is. I can add initial conditions. So one is at 0, 10. If I wanted to add one at, say, 0, 50, I could do that. And notice we get two equations, two graphs at the same time. And the initial conditions show up pretty well. I can also interact with this and graph an initial condition and move it somewhere else, and the graph is adjusted accordingly. So very, very interactive. So as you can see, we have slope fields and differential equation graphing, either general or specific, and uh, in beautiful color and interactive with several initial conditions. Uh, and this concludes the 